this is a quick demonstration of what we will be doing next and then we'll be we might be creating the chromatic tuner with html css and javascript only so we don't use any library so that may that mean that may is a library independent so we will be creating everything and 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 so before i go there i have a warning so so if we are testing in two minutes time so make sure you have an earbuds or like hearing earbuds or earmax so because and then i recommend you to turn down your volume because of the the sound you will hear is not unpleasant so so this is a warning so make sure you you prepare everything for it and we can go back so this is what we are doing in there in here this is our so chromatic tuner and then this one is a pitch detector so like it can this this guy can can use it so i use i use the uh, one of some of the source code in in this project so thanks to that guy pitch detector remember that is on github and we will be generating the frequency and then our tuner should be picked and then also i have a Eastern China, so I hope you can see that it should pick up the same similar pre frequency as the you know as so it should pick up the similar pre frequency as what we generated so from oscillator and and so this is our gold standard the reason is this guy is quite good at picking up and then it can be great so if you are looking at that one, so we are in similar range. So four four zero, that's a standard range for the when you tune your guitar or violin or any instrument. So that's a that's a standard tune, cool standard. And we should be picking at that guy. So look at our guy and name. It should be picking up similar frequency. And then make sure you uh you turn your volume down. Otherwise, you can use these guys. So these are quite good earbuds. And then I have I have ready for it, and then we'll pick it. And also, make sure you are if you are using a external microphone like my my one, this guy. So this is this is a quite cheap one. And then make sure it's please near the yeah, sound output i mean near the speakers otherwise it will pick it a little bit of like low frequent i mean less accuracy because uh, the microphone is not quite close enough to the sound pulse or something like that not loud enough and then these guys these microphone have this some kind of noise feeder so it will feed us some other noise also remember the I your surroundings so if you are if your place or if your room is quite noisy so like it, it may pick up the different fr frequency or it may, it may it may lower your sound quality so I'll go back to that slide one in one in remember are you ready so this is a one in song so make sure you turn down and then three I put my ear bed in my ear so I'm ready for that. Three, two, one. So we will be generating the oscillator. So this is a the sound so that we bought our guy and the tuna should pick up. And we'll be generating three, two, one, go. So so look at our guy. So this is our gun, right? The other one is the tuna. So which that means it's not too big.
that means it's not too big so our guy can pick it can pick up the similar frequency and it's tuned that's what we may be doing so this is a quick demonstration and then I will show you another demonstration with my violin I will violin so I pause the video I come back so my violin is ready I hope you guys are excited and hope oh, I can show you the file. I think this is a tip because if the working is a little bit low, low. So this is a G string on file. So we are picking up the same frequency. Look at look at the our tuner and look at the that tuner. So we have a little bit sense. So this is the D string, quite, quite close. To. This is A string, and this is E string. I mean, that means we can rely on it. And then, and then also sometimes there's a, you know, when you are testing, there's a, that. so how far would it be close to your sound source and how loud is it? So. If you have microphone might cannot pick up or also if your microphone is quite advanced like noise fader or something like this so that cannot pick up sometimes so then you should be checking microphone and then if you are using the laptop microphone that may not be accurate enough so decent microphone is good to play about microphone I'm not sure I haven't tested so my microphone is quite generic one it's five dollars one so I'll be I'll be playing with the bow and then let's see how close. That's quite good. Let's see how far can we pick up. Not bad, not bad. According to my analysis, not bad. So you can rely on this tuner. And I hope if you want to tune something, you open this tuner and then, and then you tune it. If you don't, you don't need the, any other one. And then, so it's quite close. And I have a vibrating tuner. So uh, the, I so I use that, that one as well. So, so that one we pick up the similar frequency quite close enough so there's a so every tuner is different from every manufacturer so like they have a plus or minus five cents into the range so like if your tuner is around plus and minus five cents that should be great so that's what shall we be doing stay tuned i hope it make you exciting and if you cannot wait so please look for the please go to the description below and then go to download my source code and then the source code will be quite simple so this is the html part, part. and then that one where is the javascript so this is a javascript part so it's quite, it's not much, I mean, it's only 500 lines of code, including the, you know, there is an extra line, so like, that's quite small, according to the standard, and then, I hope you will analyze this one, and then you, you, you are excited to go and explore, also like, if you go to there, this one is quite good, frequency on music mode, and then I, I post the is included in the time and then also when you are doing on your set and then make sure you go to the Mozilla what audio, audio API and then push to tap so that's how I get the frequency and everything most of the, most of the things are copied from these guys so like I just change 
basically I just change the UI and I just change the uh, some of the part that to fit in our project only like most some of the other things are quite identical like how to how to create how to how to change to the you know sample right to the frequency in there so this by anything so like it's quite good if you are doing that it will take you around I think around 50 to 80 hours so so keep in tune it's not it's not easy because of when you're working with audio and then it won't be working like when you are the expert and then you'll be uh, going to the different directions and then be patient if you're doing yourself otherwise you are welcome to look at and analyze my code and then make sure you create more skins and then so we can so we can I uh, contribute to the you know the global the global community. This is from me now, and have a Easter holiday. I hope you enjoy your holiday. Uh, bye bye.